Hello, it's with me. My name is Ming, and today we look at another example on arc sine uh, on integration by parts. We're going to use this example integration of arc sine x dx. Now, you may want to do this, you also may want to check your formula booklet to see whether there's anything useful that you can use. All right, welcome back. In your formula booklet, you will find that you do not have the integration of arc sine x dx written there, but you do have this one on page 12, for example, that the integrate derivative of arc sine x is 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared. That means, in this case, I need to add 1 here, right? So this particular process will go this way. So, um, what is the ugly part? Well, the ugly part is the one that I cannot integrate. So in this case, it's obvious. The ugly part here is going to be u, right? The ugly part here is the u is equal to arc sine x. And then dv dx, in this case, is equal to 1. And then integrate of this, integrate of uh, dv dx with respect to x and then integrate 1 with respect to x in this case will give me v equal to x don't have to put in the constant here and then derivative of du dx du there's a du dx in this case will just give me 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared so right now I have to combine them together. That is, I have to have uv, right, uv, so the integration of uh, arc sine x dx is equal to uv minus integration of v du dx times dx. So putting this thing together, u, in this case is arc sine x, v is x, so I could put x arc sine x minus the integral of v, so it's x du dx, in this case is 1 over square root of 1 minus x square dx. This is actually pretty good because we can rewrite the second term as integration of x on top over square root of 1 minus x square and now we can consider well what is the denominator what is the derivative of the thing inside the square root well it could be minus 2x so for example if i can change this into minus 2x then i can think about this becoming plus 1 over 2 like that so then the numerator here is the derivative of the denominator. So then the answer here will be just simply going to be x arc sine x and then plus half. This is going to be 1 minus x to the power of 2 and then this is negative half plus 1. Okay? And then plus c. So then the answer is going to be x arc sine. Right, so everything here has to be, uh, I have to, the integration here, this is going to be half. So you have to be dividing this by half again. Right. So this is going to be x arc sine x plus this one is to the power of half. So 1 minus x squared plus c. Let me put this thing down here a little bit. All right, so this will be my answer. x arc sine x plus square root of 1 minus x squared plus c. In order to check the answer, you can take the derivative of this and to see whether you get back the same integral. And here is my note for you. All right, and you can do this again. This one I've done it step by step using integration by substitution. If 
the previous method does not make sense. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.